Hello, in this video we're going to continue with our solver section using our Sun Motion C S100 Type B controller. And we previously added our uh, amplifier as well as our uh, slaves. And right now we're going to go ahead and look at the solver side a little bit more. And uh, what we need to do, what we need to check is by adding libraries. So we're going to go ahead and double click on library. Here on the top, add library. Then we go down here to advanced. And one of the libraries that we need, it's SML. We click on it and then OK. Therefore, we have added this library. This is going to help us because from here we can call fun function blocks in our program. We here in our device tree, we do have two different types of program. We do have our motion program and PLC program. PLC program is primarily designed to control automation tasks. They uh, handle logic operations, manage digital and analog input and outputs, and it's able to coordinate various industrial processes, right? But now, uh, what we're actually going to be doing is a motion program, and these motion programs are basically or specifically tailored for controlling motion access in automated systems. Right now, I have connected, uh, as you saw in the previous video, one access, and uh, with this product or with the, and with the products, we're able to achieve precise movement and positioning. So some of the things we're going to be doing or manage, it's the acceleration and the acceleration profiles, positioning, and we're also going to be adding a POU which is basically a program organization unit. So like I said, we're going to be working with a motion program. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Uh, right here, uh, as you can see, uh, we do have in the top side our declaration section, bottom side implementation section. And right here, it's where we have or oh, we're going to start typing our variables and command function blocks from an existing library. In this case, the one that we added previously. In the first line, I'm going to start by writing try one power. And then uh, this is. And then this is basically my function block that I'm calling from my um, existing library, the SML library. I'm able to do some comments by elbow slash. And this command is basically to turn my servo, my servo on and off, my function block. Then I want to integrate a second line. This second line it's most likely going to be used for my homing. So I want to type drive one home. Homing function block. This is basically going to be my humming function block. However, like I mentioned before, so we do have our variable, right? And then we do have our function block. This function block, like I mentioned before, this is for my existing library. However, uh, I have created or I'm going to create, I'm going to add a POU, a function block for this specific uh, command, homing block. And we're going to be doing this by clicking on application, add an object, 
POU and right here we're going to go ahead and name it. I want to name this uh, POU as homing homing FB. We're able to create a program function block and a function. Right here with this function block, we're going to be able to call it from our program as many times as needed. We do also are able to create functions, but these are simpler. And we do have our program. We do have different types of languages, but we're going to uh, stick with our structure test and then we click add. This is how it is going to look like. We do have implementation and declaration section as well. And this is basically the function block that I have created by adding a POU. Uh, right here in this new function block, we do have our input and output as well as uh, our local variables. In our input, uh, we basically refer our access to the object. And these input parameters provide information about the access to be home. Then we do have our be execute. This is basically a boolean flag. And it basically serves as a trigger to start the homing procedure when it's set to be true. Then we do have our outputs. We do have two commands. And those two commands are basically boolean. Uh, the first one is to indicate whether the homing procedure has been completed. And then we do have the error command as well. And this is basically to indicate whether an error occurred during the homing procedure or not. Then we do have our local variables. And we do have our integer uh, variable and these are basically used as a step counter or a state variable to manage the process of the homing procedure. Then we do have our drive setup which is likely a function block used to set the operation mode of each axis such as velocity, positioning or homing. And then lastly we do have our drive home. Uh, for example this is uh, the motion control function that is specifically designed for homing operation. This block will contain the logic and parameters necessary to execute the homing as a sequence, right? Then we do have our implementation section here in the bottom and uh, this it's divided like in two parts. We do have our function block execution and our flag control. After creating this new function block, we're going to be using it or calling it in our program. So this is our program. And this, the second one, this is where we implement this new function block that we created. So you're able to create your own function blocks functions or programs and then call it either in your uh, motion program or plc program right then we do have more variables uh the rest of them are basically commands function blocks from the existing library which is the sml that we added previously for example the next one mc move velocity uh, this is basically going to be able to control the velocity based movements. Then the next one, we do have our drive hot. This is going to be used as a command to uh, get an stop motion. Then we do have the next variable, which is going to hold the actual velocity and direction. Then we do have a boolean variable which serves like a flag indicating whether the axis is enabled or not. Then the next one we do have or this is the real variable that it's going to initiate and hold the command's velocity for the jogging operation. Then we do also have our positive and negative boolean flags indicating 
like uh, positive and negative gel commands. Uh, then we do have our main step, which is the last one. And this integer, it's like a variable that serves as a step variable. This is likely used for a sequencing. This is going to help us to organize and track different operational states or steps within the program, facilitating the structure control flow. Right. And then we do have the implementation section. Uh, in the top part right here, we do have our function block execution. But we do also have our flag control. The execution will basically initialize the homing procedure for the specified access. We do only have one access right now with the name drive1. Then it will initiate the operational mode settings for the for this specific access. Then we do have our access drive one right right here. Uh, what we need to do when we need to implement, we are calling what access we are using. Like I mentioned, so we only have one access, but if you have multiple, you're able to name it here. After that, we enable it, we make it true, so to be able to enable the servo. Then we do have a regulator on and our drive start. These are basically uh, able to set the regulator and the drive base on the drive one uh, flag. Then we do have our access. Uh, this is basically the homing position. Then we are basically adding what type of acceleration and acceleration variables uh, we could have. Then uh, we do have our deceleration as well. And lastly, we do have encoder resolution of our motor, which is at 13, 10, 72 increments. And then we do have our flag control as well. We are able to check when our jog has a start and when the jog has uh, a stop. I'm going to include the full programming code part in the description below. And this will conclude the software import using our Sun Motion CS100 Type B control. Thank you.